Good evening, everyone. I'm Greg Murphy. I'm a surgeon uh, from Greenville, North Carolina. I'm also a second-term legislator in the North Carolina House, and I'm running for Congress. I am a Christian conservative who fully supports our president, especially in his policies of, uh, of the economic uh, realm that we're dealing with, also with immigration. And why should you vote for me? I think it's important when you're picking someone to be your congressman, that it's someone that shares your values, shares your belief, and actually can take those to Washington, D.C. When you vote for someone, you don't vote for one person. You vote for someone who has the ability to influence other individuals. And that means talking to them, never compromising on their values and their ideals, but being able to pull consensus together. And I believe that's what I've done in Raleigh, and I would appreciate your vote for Dr. Greg Murphy for Congress. Thank you. Literally the lowest member of Congress. When you come in, you will literally be the lowest member of Congress as, as far as seniority goes, but also in the minority party. You can see in Raleigh, when we go through legislation, the Democratic Party really doesn't have much of a voice. So what you have to do in the minority party is actually step forward and, and be persuasive and deal with other individuals. I think health care is really one area that inter intertwines the entire fabric of our nation. And I look at issues. Everybody has high prices of medications. You look on the television, direct or consumer advertising, we're only one of two countries in the world that does that. That is a pressure point that we can work on. Pharmacy benefit managers, the middlemen who, who starve us out of, uh, of real good prices. I think it's important that you have somebody that is persuasive, that can actually make a good argument, sit down, listen to people, and try to move the Republican conservative agenda forward. I think that's important as a minority member, and that's what I intend to do. Thank you. about our country is that we can have as Republicans conservative values and share those values, but still have some disagreement. Even though we have a goal that we all want to reach, a little disagreement on how we get there. I will bring up the fact that I don't believe tariffs are a good idea. I'm not an economist by nature, I'm a physician by nature. But I think tariffs, by definition, reward or in competition. They, they don't have allowed the world markets to compete with one another. So for example, when we put a tariff on steel, that was great for our steel workers, but it hurt our automatic audio manufacturing individuals, folks who manufacture uh, refrigerators, etc. So while it helped one part of our economy, it hurt another part of our economy. Not favor of tariffs at all. I think the free market needs to reign. That's how capitalism is built. You know, the second part deals with our balanced budget. You know, we do have record revenue, but we do need to cut our spending. You know, we've, we've had our economy the best it's been in 50 years. Why we're not decreasing our budget is problematic for me. So those are the issues myself. Otherwise, I fully support our president. He's doing a fantastic job. Ladies and gentlemen, our fishermen and our watermen are, are those individuals who have eked out in existence, they're getting up at 4 o'clock in the morning, braving weather that you and I would not do to support their families and provide us with fish and fish. You know, there's a lot of fake science that goes on that they're dealing with now. I, um, I am a scientist by nature. And you look at the differing views about what's going on. One side gets to push the agenda. And I think it's important that there be a balanced effort to help our fishermen. You know, the other part is uh, there are enough fish in the ocean for both sports fishermen and our commercial fishermen. That point is very well established, and it's not being one agenda that's getting pushed. There's also some part of assisting our fishermen to diversification. We worked on a little bit of that last year, didn't get it through with aquaculture. There are other things that our waterways can be used for that can help provide some source of income for our fishermen. And so I think putting a smart approach and a creative approach to decrease regulation, but also offer some alternatives for these individuals is the smart way to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are a nation of laws. There is a legal pathway to citizenship in this country. Our southern border, we don't have this problem obviously with our Canadian border as much, but our southern border has basically become overrun by folks seeking a better life. Yes, you know, there is empathy for those individuals that are from countries of violence or of poverty, but it is not our job to be the world's breadbasket for everyone. We actually need to take individuals in who come in through the legal way. The individuals who are most upset about the illegal immigration problem of those that came through our country legally. I see it all the time. I see individuals who come in for health care, they just came in to get benefits, they flood our schools, they have so many other issues that we are, as a nation, really cannot tolerate. So we look at chain migration. Just because one person came in means their entire family can go. That's ludicrous. We have laws in our country, we need to enforce the laws in our country, and we actually do need to build a physical barrier to prevent individuals from just walking across the border. So I'm fully supportive of what our president's doing. It is a national emergency. Obamacare, and where does that leave Medicaid? All right, Obamacare.
Obamacare was, in my opinion, one of the worst pieces, if not the worst piece of legislation ever written in the United States Congress. What it has done, and I see this firsthand, what it has done, it has killed private practices, it has killed hospitals, and it has killed individuals. If you look at premiums, what have they done in the last several years since Obamacare came in place? They have skyrocketed. They've not created more competition. What we need is more competition. And so what you need to do is that foot needs to be fully repealed. Fully repealed. There is enough private incentive within our workforce, within our, within our companies, to make an actually a, a health care system in the United States work. There are plenty of points of pressure that can actually bring down prices and make health care affordable for the country, not because of, and get rid of the over-regulation, the massive over-regulation that has occurred with Obamacare. And as far as Medicaid, Medicaid was incepted in 1965 for the disabled, for, for impoverished uh, seniors, and for impoverished children. That won't change. The 3rd District now includes a substantial portion of the state's coastline, and the issue of energy exploration continues to create debate in the region. As a member of Congress, what position would you take on opening areas off the northeastern coast for energy exploration? Um, it is interesting. I was in Washington, D.C. several weeks ago, and we looked at a chart that talked about the energy created by the United States. We, are now, we now exceed Saudi Arabia by oil production created in the United States. You go, I was over in the North Sea uh, about a year and a half ago. They had pulled the rigs out of the North Sea. Right now, we are doing a fantastic job creating oil for our country. I do not believe any time in the foreseeable future that we're going to need to drill off our coasts. We have, we have so much oil now. The prices, fortunately, have remained low. I don't think this will be an issue for the next Congress or several Congresses moving forward. Gentlemen, I'm Greg Murphy. I know everybody's tired. It's been a long evening. You have an awesome responsibility in front of you, and that's to elect your next Congressman or Congresswoman. What does that mean? That means someone that you, that you uh, vote for to represent you, your values, your beliefs, and your needs, and carry them to Washington, D.C. You look, need to look for some individual that can take what our needs are and be able to influence other individuals so that we can move the needle in Washington, D.C. for Eastern North Carolina. We in Eastern North Carolina get, get, uh, we get lost a lot. We get pushed aside. We've done that in Raleigh. And we're doing it in Washington, D.C. You need a strong voice that supports our president, supports his initiatives, and carries the values that we all have moving forward. The other part of your congressman is, not, is a political one, but the other part is your, is your constituent services. This is critical. I've spent my life in the service of others, done mission work for 36 years. I wear a pager all the time. I answer the calls. And so our part of our office, especially if you get up there now being in the minority, would be provide excellent constituent services, and I plan to do so. I ask for your vote for Greg Murphy for Congress. Thank you.